siempre decía que I always said that my dream was to play in La Liga. Jugar en la Liga española. Y al punto de firmar The offer con, from Celta arrived equipo, just when I was about to join another club. Y venía aquí solo para I only went to Vigo ciudad, to visit the no, city, no, no as I was already going to sign for a club in England. Having only seen equipo, videos of me, the president, Horacio Gómez, wanted me to sign a contract as soon as I arrived. Horacio y dijo, bueno, vamos a firmar el contrato. Michael Jaime Revivo landed in Vigo in the summer of 1996, a young 24-year-old striker who was to become the first Israeli player in the history of La Liga. After making his debut in professional Israeli football at just 19 years old, he shone in the league, scoring over 70 goals in five seasons. His brilliant performances caught the eye of many European clubs, but when Celta made an offer for him, there was only one choice. It was fantastic for me because I'd always wanted to play in La Liga. His arrival at the club from Galicia coincided with other important signings, such as Mostavoy and Mazinho, who would mark a before and after in Celta's history. Their Vivo and company, the Sky Blues returned to Europe after more than half a century. Something they'd only ever achieved once before in the first edition of the UEFA Cup. Once back, they played European football for the following six seasons. This was how Euro Celta was born. In my second or third season there, we were top of La Liga for many weeks. And there was a lot of talk about Celta outside Spain. I remember people saying that there was this team in La Liga who were playing the best football in Europe, not only in Spain, but in the whole continent. Mostovoy, Carpil, Mazinho, Makelele, Michel Salgado. They could have played for the biggest clubs, but they were at Celta, and I had the good fortune of playing with them. It's difficult to find players like them nowadays. Revivo immediately enchanted everybody with his left foot, his extraordinary skill, and also his famous celebrations. But without a doubt, free kicks were one of his greatest strengths. In his short time in La Liga, the Israeli proved that he was as good as the top specialists that have passed through our league. His quality didn't go unnoticed. At his peak, Jaime Revivo was on the radar of many of the football giants. I could have gone to Real Madrid. John Benjamin Toshak, the manager at the time, called me and told me he wanted to sign me. I spoke to the Celta president, Horacio Gomez, and he would only let me leave if they paid the buyout clause, which was around 18 or 20 million. Real Madrid couldn't pay more than 12, and so the president said no. The following year, there was contact with Barcelona. The deal was done. They reached an agreement with my agent. But unfortunately, the Barca president and the coach, Louis van Gaal, left the club. Revivo finally signed for Fenerbahce. The Israeli continued winning titles in Turkey, where he also defended the colors of another of the capital's clubs, Galatasaray. We won the league in my first year. The club hadn't been champions for six years. I won player of the year, I was the top goal scorer. We also qualified for the Champions League. I had some really good years in Turkey, but it was thanks to my experience in La Liga that I was able to perform so well there. It was and still is the best league in the world. He decided to hang his boots up at 31 to dedicate himself to management. 
First at his hometown club, football club Ashdod, now he's focused on his own business. When I returned to Israel, I was the owner of a club with my business partner. I was the president, but I said to my partner that I would play 10 or 12 games to create an atmosphere and attract people to the games. And that's where I retired, at my own team. When I signed for Celta, I invested all my money in property development in Israel with my partner. I always thought that when I retired from football, I would have an office to work from. And thank God, things have gone very well for us in business. One of the most talented footballers to have worn the Celta colours, this is the story of Jaime Rivivo, a unique player.